Okay, so most um, game engines nowadays actually have a separate AO slot um, for you to uh, put the AO that you create using this method or using a bake from a low poly, for example, into that slot. So we don't actually want to save this in the base texture here in the albedo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. And all I did then was Control Alt S, which gives me a save copy. I'm going to save this as an AO. So Pete Samurai AO. Yes. And if you notice as well, I've changed it back from multiply to normal. So we get this three. Now we want to see this in 3D. Now we could put it into a game engine or we could put it back into Maya. Now I'm going to show you how you what you can view it in 3DO, which is the renderer. So we'll click on here. And this is what it looks like to begin with. So we can have a cube here and we can change the type of lighting. We can even have unreal lighting in here. Okay. We can also have a light spin on it. You have direct light intensity, change it. Okay. We could also change the post processing so we can add all these different effects on it. So we could, if we wanted to. And how I'm moving in this is I'm holding the Alt button and I'm rotating around with the left mouse click, rotate around. I'm also zoom in and out to pan in and out. I'm using Alt, right mouse button. I can also do that with the scroll wheel by not pressing anything else. And if I hold the mouse button down, I can also move this around like this. So if I, I can also make a turntable, so I can actually make it spin. Want it. You can have a play around with this, have a play around, see what you can, what you can do. So I'm going to import in these textures that I've just made. So to begin with, I want to import my mesh. Now you can either import, you can use an FBX for this. You can use OBJ, but it sometimes doesn't work. So I'll just navigate to where I've saved this FBX. That was definitely not it. Okay, and he is pixel peak. Now he's in his T pose because he is actually animated in this. Uh, but unfortunately, this doesn't bring in the animations. It's not an animator editor. It's nothing like that. It's purely a renderer to see what your what you make in and doing D do, and see what it looks like. It's in quite a, in one of Marmoset's renderers. Okay, so I'm also going to change load in the albedo which is your diffuse. Out what a diffuse means it doesn't have any pre-baked lighting in it. Uh, sorry, a diffuse means it does have pre-baked lighting in it, whereas an albedo can't have any, doesn't have any, it's just pure color. So we can see some of our launch screens. So this is a project, this is a live project that I'm working on. Um, by the time this uh, tutorial comes out, hopefully you'll be able to buy it on early access to the game. Okay, so that's the albedo. Now we're going to change the normal map on it, because we want to see what the normal map looks like. Okay, and you can see there it's added a lot of depth to this model. Now all credit goes to Molly um, Freeman, who's one of my, the artists who works, works for me. She actually created the, the color texture for this, the albedo. And I'm going to add the AO as well. So I was like talking earlier about having a separate AO slot. And the reason for this is so we can change how dark the AO is. If it was baked into the albedo, it one, it wouldn't be an albedo and it would be called a diffuse.
used, and we won't be able to change how the intensity of this. As you can see, we've got a pretty good representation of what this texture looks like on him. Now in the game, he has actually got a samurai sword and he's got a helmet as well up here. Um, but for this purposes, I'm just showing you this mesh here. So yeah, so that's pretty much 3DO in a nutshell. Um, you can do bacon in it. I've never done bacon myself. You can experiment and see what it's like. I use X normals for that, and I will be going over how to use X normals in a later set of videos. But to begin with, this is quite a nice viewer, and you can take renders as well. So, like I was saying before, we can look at the post processing and do like a bit of screen space ambient occlusion. And where is it? Field. So that's fully on. So if it's black, that'll have depth of field on. So we want it the other way around. So you can have a play around with this and just see see what you can come up with. Um, you can also take renders from this as well. So we can actually uh, take a render, save it out, um, and it'll save it as a PNG. So that is 3DO. Um, when we come back, I'm going to show you how you can um, take a photo and turn that into a normal map.